Welcome back to another How to Draw Pokemon with me, Pixie Doodle. Today we're going to be drawing Chikorita, which as you can see from the basic shape is considerably more difficult than the original like Cleffa and Iglybuff that we did. <laughs> so this is going to be interesting. I, I actually put the, all the instructions on here because of how much space Chikorita took up. So, the first one is, oh, again, you also need the drawing utensils, of course, pencil, pen, but I'm using a marker, and eraser. As always, when drawing, whoops, that's for coloring. I pre-pulled my colors. <laughs> All right, so, the first thing is, you have to remember is, this is kind of like a curve line. I'm going to take you as far as I can with this. Um, so then obviously the curve gets considerably more so around here. About halfway. You make another kind of like humped version to here. Make this a little longer. This is, this is for the foot, and this is actually for the other foot. The other foot goes here, and then you're going to, I think I made that too, too small. This didn't curve in enough. Okay, and then, about here maybe? And then you're gonna come down back up to the foot some that looks really bad <laughs> looks let's erase that real quick here it looks really bad okay and then so this comes down to well, I think I made this come out too much too it's one of the reasons why it looks so bad. Like that maybe? Is this a ratio to erase all those horrible, horrible lines? There we go. That looks about right. Somewhere like that. And then you draw the leaf on its head. And basically it's just a, a really curved line. And it comes down to just, I think I may have curved that just a little too high. Just like that. And then you're going to go kind of in. And... So like a happy medium here I can go with there we go so that is the base and the leaf for Chikorita it's a lot more difficult I wasn't lying <laughs> okay I'm just gonna set this over here cuz uh, my other pile is full so the next thing I want you to do is to add a curved line to make the front leg so from about here to about here ish or so to make the front leg so yeah it's about halfway supposed to be there we go sorry I got a song stuck in my head uh, <laughs> it's way too high I think like that maybe There we go. There we go. Just like that. And then we're gonna draw the rind, rind, rounded. <laughs> if 
I can talk rounded triangle for its tail. And then the rounded gumdrop shaped <laughs> thing around its neck. One of them being on the front leg here. One of them being right here. And then another one right here. I feel like that's too close. I feel like that's too close. So we're going to move you. Yeah. There we go. Okay. There. That looks a little, a little better. Don't worry about it being super exact here. And another one here. Just trying to give it a circle, like shape here like if it helps just draw like a, a line like that around the neck just so you know <laughs> apparently mine really is not in a straight line <laughs> like that there we go <laughs> so that we know that this one has to go here and then there's another one that has to go here there you go and those are the gum dropped neck rings. There we go. Just like that. <laughs> and I apologize. I forgot to take my dog's collar off before I started this. So. And then the next thing you do is you draw the little hoof marks on his legs. Just like that. Yep. So, there we go. Next step. Is to draw the eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, you draw straight lines. Make sure they're, they're all straight. There is no, no curve, but kind of make the top line a little like that a little slanted a little less slanted here because these lines are going to be more slanted all right whoops I feel like there maybe like that is it supposed to be smaller we don't know uh, a little bit of both. There we go. There we go. Alright. And next is the, the detail in the eyes. Which I apparently made a lot smaller <laughs> than I originally did. So we're going to stick like this. Okay. Oh, and just to fix them because they're a little small. Alright, so now that I have repositioned the eyes here, oh, that's why it looks funky. Okay. <laughs> they don't look wide enough now. Ah, this takes me the longest, is this freaking placement of the eyes. Okay, so then. What you're going to do is do this kind of like a circle and then you're going to go up semicircle down to the corner 
and then we're going to draw an oval from the top, kind of centered over that. So. So we're going to draw this line here, up, semicircle, down, in the reversed fashion of the other one, and the oval there, and then we're going to add, I don't think I ever put mouth, mouth is not on the instructions, um, <laughs> it's kind of almost like this, but then it cur curls, curls back. Oh, and I'm, it needs to be slanted too, apparently, because I didn't slant it. Slant and curl back. I think that's a little bit too much of a curl. There we go. Now we're going to ink it. And hope for the best here. Hope it looks... Oh, whoops, I also forgot the... Um, The uh, triangle piece here, which makes it look like a leaf. Try to keep it like almost like you can almost see the rest of it going towards the point of the leaf. So we're going to move this. And here we go. So, there we go, just like that. Alright, now it's time to color. Alright, so here is Chikorita colored. He looks really funky. I always apologize for that. He doesn't look much better. <laughs> she kind of looks better on this side if you could actually see through the paper. Um, again, I don't have really nice colored markers or anything. I use pretty much use Sharpies and highlighters. This is highlighter here <laughs> and the rest is Sharpie. So this is what Chikorita looks like. Um, yeah, I guess when the eyes are not in attack mode, they are rounded at the top instead of straight line. But yeah, so this is Chikorita, non-colored, colored. It's a pretty fierce looking. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and followed along. Leave a comment down below telling me how yours came out and if you have any good colors because I don't. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button if you're new and also, always don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and want to see more of these drawings. Again, I'm not doing these how to draws because I'm great at them. I'm doing them because I'm learning how to draw myself. So you guys are welcome to join in me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye.